thank you all for responding to the alert. I'm afraid our worst fears have come true. Some Albion genius worked out you don't have to keep inventing new drones to police the world when you have thousands already. See, Albion contracted Tidus to develop an adaptive artificial neural network for their old Predator drones. It allows them to communicate and coordinate with each other through their AI accelerators. And once Albion shares this technology with its global clients, you've got a hive mind of lethal drones keeping the peace everywhere the same way Albion does in London. The intel comes from George Cordero, a Tidus AI programmer and whistleblower. I'll connect you with him once you're on site. He should have all the information we need to find this baby AI and leave a few choking hazards in its crib. Hello George, I speak for DedSec London. What do you have for us? Right, well, I've been working at Tidus C, rookie stuff, uh, optimizing the maintenance grid, that kind of thing, but I seen shit. One of my co-workers got in where he shouldn't have. He was hunted down by a pack of drones. Only, they were coordinating like I've never seen, like, like they were sharing one mind. Got it. Killer drones with a hive mind, millions of lives hang in the balance, etc. Standard DedSec stuff. We'll need to download credentials to access the OS at the same time from two different locations, Brokertech and Karkani Medical. Research stations, but those credentials will expire at some point. Then no time to waste, team. Hurry on to Tidus. your termination of a viable AI, but world domination shouldn't be one's raison d'etre. Guys, you gotta shut this shit down. I mean, that's what you do, right? Yes, George, we are the ones who shut this shit down. Now, let's destroy these research stations. Well done, now get the hell out.
found a leading GOG OS. But we got a new situation. Check the news feeds. Someone just released the drones. The rogue drones appear to be attacking indiscriminately, leaving dozens of dead and injured. No word yet on who might be responsible for the carnage. The drones were given autonomous functionality when we shut down GOG OS. In any case, they're off the leash. Then we need to get them back on the leash, don't we? Christ, what a bloody mess. I'm picking up a signal from a damaged drone. I may be able to reconstruct a self-destruct code if you download data from its wreck. Wait, what? What are you trying to do? To talk to them? Exactly. I'm trying to learn their language so I can sing them into a deep sleep. Well, actually, they should explode. The damage was extensive. I couldn't reconstruct the signal, but a second drone could help me fill in the blanks. This drone is in bad shape too, but it should give us enough to complete the signal. are dropping off the grid. Some are resisting, but the conflicting commands are literally frying their circuits. I'm still seeing four active drones. They formed a drone pack. Simple, but essentially correct. They're operating as a closed loop. So if we upload the shutdown command directly into each of them, it will trigger a temporary overload, exposing weak spots. Scanning for unauthorized life. I suggest targeting the weak spots. We've defeated another drone. And the bad news, it triggered some kind of buffering ability. It made the other drone stronger. to them. You worked well together. I'd say I was proud, but I want to keep you motivated. B minus. Hello? 
Guys, I did some poking around and found some files on Project Gogmagog. And something else. I think it's how Gog OS communicates with its drones. An external bus, but nothing like I've ever seen before. Where are you now? I'm in a truck in the depot with the voice box. This place is crawling with Albion. You've got to get me out. You're the one who hid in the truck, George. We're coming as fast as we can. That's some heavy security for a garage. I know, right? The system automatically locked everything down, but I figured out a way in. The maintenance grid manages the micro drones, tiny robots that could be used to pick the lock from inside. should provide access to the maintenance micro drone. We're near the core. The logical approach would be to short circuit the CPU.
There were schematics in that truck for more advanced weapon systems. My favorite one's called Plasma Purge. Apparently causes complete organic eradication. Looks to me that the main lab is in the basement of the Tower of London. That's where you'll find Gog Magog itself. Thanks for catching us up, George. Time to storm the tower. Control, I've lost the target. There should be a physical construct somewhere inside that houses the project's central administrative unit. Gog Magog's brain. Exactly. But in order to access the basement lab, you'll need access keys, preferably off the bodies of the commanding officers. Intruders detected. Secondary weapon systems operational. Lethal force authorized. Gold McGog's cooling vents are open. Hit him with everything you've got! Coolant purge initiated. Initiate. Oh, yeah! That was bloody awesome! You guys are awesome! How wow! Are you doing? Just fucking wow! Let's not get moist. This is what we do. Still, we couldn't have struck this blow without you. Well, I think I'll stick with tech support if that's all right with you. A job well done, team. That's one less Albion plotment to establish domination over the world that we have to worry about. Oh, stop. 